What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and as always, thanks so much for clicking on this video. It is time to open up some packages guys. We got not one, but we have two packages sitting right here and I cannot wait. I am super excited as always. Right here we got one from Nas over at Nostalgic. If you haven't checked out his channel, I'll have his link down below as always. And then right here guys, we got one from Charles Vaughn. We've been going back and forth on Instagram. Just kind of sharing each other's collections, what we've been finding, and just trying to catch up on Hot Wheels stuff. Uh, awesome guy, and he just wanted to send me this for the channel, so thank you so much. I have no idea what is in here, but I cannot wait, guys. Since Nas's box is already open, because this was actually given to Kingnut to give to me, we're going to start with this one and then finish off with this big old box of goodies. So we'll move this to the side. And let's see what Nas hooked it up with. All right, check it out. We got some goodies, guys. Mustang Hunter, the quest for positivity. Nice, what is this? What does this, as he would say, look at that, that is sweet. <laughs> I like that. Artist, customizer, filmmaker, check that out. There's his contact info, that is sweet, man. Cool little business cards there, I see. Oh, the quest for positivity continues. Nice, look at this. Space age stuff right here, guys. It's all wrapped up in foil. But let's see what we got, guys. Oh yeah, this is definitely easy to open with one hand. All right, guys, I need you, to, I need you all to send me stuff in foil for this one-handed stuff. Look at that, that was so easy. Let's see what we got. This is collector number 637. Ooh, nice. Kingnut just picked this up too. The 98 first edition Escort Rally. Check that out. Oh, that is sweet, dude. You got the white enamel. Kind of tied in with the blue front end right there. Look at that deco. The fog lights. You got the little... HWLS for I'm pretty sure it's just Hot Wheels. The Swisher motor, you got the lace wheels. The number eight. Oh man, this is nice. I remember this casting when I was younger. Look at that. Oh, that is nice, man. God, I love these old cards. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God, look at this color. Oh, this is that one he was talking about that is powder coated. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> Look at this orange. Wow, and this is powder coated because I remember him telling me the color and I cannot remember it, but look how beautiful that is. And those white 10 spoke real riders just look so nice on that. God, that color just pops and it makes the white wheels just really stand out. This is a 67 Fastback. And look how beautiful that looks. Nas, this, this is super clean. I don't even think premium cars come with the high gloss finish like that. That is beautiful, man. Look at that. That is awesome, man. Thank you. And check this out. We have the Velocitor with the Mattel and Hot Wheels deco, nice. Collector number 471, it's a pro stock type of car. It's black enamel, the red interior. You have the chrome lace wheels, larger out back, smaller up front. Look at that. And I think this is all metal base. It looks like an all metal base. It is pretty heavy. This is an awesome looking car. And I seen this at the cubby hole the last time I was there. And I was really tempted on buying it just because of the Mattel and the Hot Wheels Flame Deco. And I'm glad I didn't because check this out. Now I have it. Love these old blue cards. And this is, ooh, I don't know, but this is from 2004, number 171. It's the Track Aces Chevy. Another pro stock type of car. That is nice. Racing with the number three. You got the crazy looking Hot Wheels Deco. Love how the flames kind of wrap around that. That looks really sweet. Is a blue metallic. Got the chrome five spoke wheels and check out that hood deco. That is nice. You got the number three with the Hot Wheels track aces. 
and then it looks like there's a name. Was that Scott? Scott Racing number three. That is a sweet looking car. It looks like it would be a Monte Carlo, but I'm not too sure. Not real familiar with this generation of Chevy, but I would feel like that's a Monte Carlo. You guys let me know in the comments what car this is actually based off of. It's a Chevy Stalker, so that is awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Let's take another look at this thing. Yeah, that is nice. All right, guys, so let's move this over. Nas, I definitely, definitely appreciate you, man. You are awesome for sending those. Let's go ahead and open up this box from Charles. All right, guys, I think I got it open. Let's see what is in the box. I think I might have to just slide this out. All right, box is empty. We'll go ahead and put that down there like a bunch of loose castings nice all right let's see number one let's see what is in this Ooh, this is unique what kind of casting is this split an image really <laughs> whoa never seen this variation that is crazy looking I think this is like I don't know is this a tuned version of it that is very unique. I don't think I, I don't even think I have a splitting image. I want to say I do somewhere in my display out of the, the ice series. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Let's see. What is the next one? Ooh, okay. Here we go. We got another, looks like a fantasy type car. Don't know what kind of car this is. The Nitrium. You got the red, white, and blue theme going on here. You got the blue canopy, the large chrome OH5s with the blue stars and flame. Definitely never seen this casting. As know I love unique castings as well, but I definitely appreciate old fantasy cars. They're just something about the older ones I like. We have a, uh, looks like another tuned type of car. The Ultra Rage, check this out. Almost has like an Audi meets NSX front end. These are cars that I can probably use for like a apocalyptic one because this kind of looks like this one over here. Oh no, that's totally different. But it can be a car like this. I think with these castings, I might just do crazy customs out of it. Because I think these cars could look futuristic apocalypse looking. I don't know. Those are unique though. All right. Next one. We got another, looks like another tuned type of fantasy car. It's a white plastic. Feels like a plastic body. You got the chrome interior. So you got some speakers in the back. Another crazy looking car. It's almost like a Veloster from the side profile. This was probably way before the Veloster was even thought of. All right, what else do we got? Almost looks like a Corvette, but I know it's not a Corvette. It is the Power Rage. Nice. So it's all black enamel. You got the tribal blue flames with the blue five spokes. Blue tinted glass, blue wing. You got speakers and amps in the back. It's an interesting car. Next up, we got, we got a looks like an RC type of car. This one is the Spectite, looks like. It's a crazy looking one. You got the PR5s in chrome. You got the purplish blue base. Some crazy deco on there in yellow. Yellow canopy, chrome interior. This could be a really cool custom as well. Nice. Next up we got, ooh, okay, here we go. You got the stunt car number four. What kind of car is this? It's an 84 Pontiac. Nice. You got the chrome PR5s, the yellow tinted glass. It is painted a blue metallic. You got the white interior. You can see it's only one seat and no back seat. That is crazy looking. Look at that. Never seen this casting before. This is really cool. Yeah, I like that could be a really cool demolition car all right next up this is unique look at that that is crazy looking it's almost like an indie car open wheel indie car check that out you can polish up that gold the 
this all metal body is crazy what is this the bon bon voyage nice gold five spoke wheels check out that motor sitting out back that looks crazy all right next up we got oh i've seen this before a long time ago what is this called this one is the battle spec nice again you got the chrome oh5s looks like a single seat maybe the motor is on the right hand side another unique one never seen before next up we got this is another wicked looking almost looks like it was based off of like how the twin mill is got the swamp rocket deco is that what it's called it is called the maelstrom look at that got a nice teal metallic it's a little blistered so this can definitely be an apocalyptic car most of these are probably going to be apocalyptic customs um, I might keep that one the way it is but some of these might be into the realm of doing some custom work to that nice oh I've seen this one before this is the nitro door slammer check that out this is the same car as that big one that Sammy sent that makes all the noises and engine revs and all that check this out <laughs> that's cool it's actually the smaller version of it nice look at that look so you have some turbines in the front grill look at those pro chargers I'd say those are pro chargers not really turbos because they look more belt driven that is nice I love the matte blue and the purple flames that just looks really good I love the profile of that that is nice all right next up we have <laughs> oh look at this that is cool and this is the whale tail to 2004 check that, check that out that is so freaking cool highly exaggerated i love these tune type of cars look at that got the whale tail deco the number 66 with the orange flames that is a cool fun little casting look at that <laughs> nice I like that this is all metal this is the what kind of car is this oh this is the rocket oil special look at that it's got the riveted panel right there on the side but look at that motor sitting under there it's got a metallic purple finish very nice got the dual exhaust coming out the back I remember him sending me a picture of this his wheels definitely need some TLC I might put the original ones right back on it but look at that it almost matches how that one is check that out next up the Cadillac look at this blue metallic and I only know it's a Cadillac because I have this one in a red metallic right here here's the red one I have look at that and now I got the blue one. <laughs> nice. All right, next up. This is another crazy fantasy car. Got the Hot Wheels 4.0. It's a red plastic. And this is the Jet Threat 4.0. Oh, yeah. All right, next up. We have another crazy looking one. Look at that. You got all kinds of turbines and motors the track aces car it's the road rocket look at that turbines with the that's a really cool detail on the bottom got the PR5s all the way around look at that motor and next up this this one's got the Joker deco on there look at that that is a cool little hot rod right there. You got a red metallic, gold motor, gold five spokes. And look at that. Joker running down the back. Look at those vents. A little split window right there. That is super cool. All right, next up. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, check out this bone shaker. It's a satin gray with the... Looks like Billy Rats. That is really cool. 
got the chrome interior chrome motor red five spokes that is really sweet another variation that i have not seen i know king that's gonna want this one <laughs> nice next up this another like open wheel type of indy car this is a bright yellow base it's the rdo one look at those flares this is definitely a crazy looking casting nice all right next up check this out cool little off-road car this is a matchbox cliffhanger check that out it's a beautiful blue Jesus little Denver Bronco color theme going on you got the orange interior but that blue god they utilize the blue for this little bitty thing all right fun little casting love the color of that all right oh it's for Mike <laughs> It's the shark. Mike is all about the shark. He really isn't, but I just, every time I see this shark, I think of my buddy Mike, also known as Helmet Diecast. So I got the shark in a metallic gold. Maybe it's a lime gold. I don't know. It's a weird gold. It's got the gold motor, the gold J5s. Got the gold grill right there on the front of the shark. Check this out. <laughs> Oh, that's a fun casting. Next up. Ooh, okay. Got another unique casting. That's a beautiful color, though. Look at that. Gold metallic with the silver. And then the chrome rear end. Check that out. Or maybe, no, that's the front. This is the back. All right, so this is the back. That's the back. This is the front. So you got the huge chrome front end. I was wondering why the stripes went that way. Chrome PR5s, and this one's called the Extreme Stir. Nice. Love that color setup though. The gold and silver looks nice. Next up. Ooh, okay. What do we got right here? We got Queen Anne's Revenge 2 or Rue. I don't know, but look at that huge blower sticking out of that. This is a nice casting. What is this? The MG Rover. Nice, I actually really dig that. It's almost like the old wood panel rear. That brown metallic though. And that motor looks so wicked. Look at that huge blower. The huge valve covers that come out the side looks really good. Yeah, I like this. It's almost like a tuned gasser. Yeah, that is really cool. Nice. Next up, what do we got? What do we got? more of a space age what is that uh armored response vehicle nice there is a lot of potential in this bad boy this thing is huge but it weighs nothing all right next up we got another streamline little speedster look at that color though that burnt orange and black that is nice what is this the it's so skinny. <laughs> it's so <laughs> it it's so eat so skinny. Really, that's the name they came. Up with. <laughs> I bet the guy that was designing this is like, hey guys, check out this concept car I came up with. We're gonna make it, and they're like, it's so skinny, and they're like, yeah, that you know what? That's gonna be the name. It's so skinny. That is super funny. <laughs> you got the PR fives. But it does have a really nice paint setup. It's almost like a Bugatti looking. Yeah, I don't know. Crazy. Oh, what is this? This thing is wide. Oh, wow. Check this out. Oh, that is super cool. Look at that. Got the twin props. P38. Nice, dude. Definitely don't have any airplanes in my collection, but look at that. That looks really good. Man, these twin engines are really cool. So that is sweet, dude. I don't have anything like that in my collection. All right, next up. Ooh, look at this. It's another Matchbox. Mountain Cobra Tours. Look at that. This is the Jungle Crawler. 
That is a really cool casting. I like that a lot. It's almost like a, a gasser meets just Jeep. That just looks really good. And I love how you can see the open motor like that. All right, next up, here we go. I've seen this one before. It is the riveted, look at that deco. You got a really dark gray. It's not metallic, it's just gray with the green skull deco. Of course, you got the black PR5s with the chrome trim. Orange tinted glass, chrome interior, and look at that big old motor sticking out. I like that. All right, next one is a crazy looking fantasy car. It's got a nice side profile, but check that out. You got the green canopy, blue metallic, green base. I love the green base, looks nice. And it is the Collator. Oh, see you later. <laughs> Not, it's like that. It's like reading license plates when people get all creative with it. You're like, cool later, but it's see you later. Nice. Next up, that is nice. Check this out. This is the Jeep CJ2A. I actually have one of these. Um, if you guys remember the gasser that I did over here, this motor is the one that I chopped off and put on top of that. So this is the same casting I used, but I did not have this deco. This is a nice one. Got the military theme of the desert tan with the green, the olive green interior. Look at that, this is nice. Jeep and Star, oh yeah, that is sweet. Got my pile of paper towels. All right, next up, uh-oh, got another wide one, another airplane. Ooh, you got the A-10. Look at that. Oh yeah, you got the Warthog, baby. That is sweet. Got the Washington Tail, 963. Oh yeah. This is a deadly air-to-ground combat aircraft right here. It is legit a machine gun with wings. If you ever looked at the video, it's a giant machine gun that they just put a pilot and some wings on. Look at that. Definitely taking these to work. Next up, what do we got? Oh wow, this is super crazy. Look at that. Huge turbine. This is the... Doesn't say. Massive turbine. Jesus. Is this thing... <laughs> I didn't put my mouth on it, but when you blow into the back of this, the turbine spins. <laughs> that is so cool. Next up, got another crazy looking formula type car. Look at that. Maximus. Got the dual fueler. Look how huge those OH5s are. It's a beautiful gold metallic. Motor casted right behind the driver. <laughs> nice. Here we go. We got a Lamborghini. This is the Maisto. Yep. Lamborghini Diablo. Look at that pink metallic. That looks good. This thing is screaming for some wheel swaps. Nice. Very, very nice. Look at that. That color looks su super good. Next up, ooh, here we go. That is cool. Look at that, it's like a full roll cage. This is the roll cage. Wow, it's called roll cage, nice. Would have never called it anything else. <laughs> but look at that, you got the wheel out back. They actually mounted a wheel. How come they can't do that nowadays when they just cast a tire? How come they just can't get a wheel and mount it like that. Look at that. That looks so good. Just that small detail right there makes that casting look 10 times cooler. You got the diamond plated floor. This this is really cool. And next up, what do we <laughs> look at that? Look at this stubby little toe. It's almost like a mini Cooper. And this one is the Rocket Box. 
Oh, and that's a face. You got the eyes, the nose, the teeth, and then the tongue. <laughs> it's a face. That's funny. Next up. Ooh, here we go. We got another contender for some apocalyptic stuff. Got the satellite radar. Nice. Does this thing actually move? Oh, it moves. Oh, yeah. That makes it cooler. But this is the radar truck. All right. Matchbox is super original. You got radar truck, roll cage. There's like, it's a, uh, it's skinny, shark, like <laughs> just simple names. I like it. Radar truck, nice. That is cool. We only got one more after this. Next up, ooh, check this out. I've seen this one before. Look at that. Kids custom. Oh, what is this one called? Surf crate. That is so twisted looking. Look at that. I'd love to drive one of these down the road. Nice. Last one. And definitely not least. Okay, here we go. Got the Mercedes finishing off with this class. Look at that color. God, that is a nice color. That color swing is really good. It looks black, but it is a dark, dark burgundy the taillight tampo is a license plate tan interior that is a beautiful casting there we have it guys awesome packages from nas and an amazing package from charles so thank you so much for sending me all these castings like i said there's a lot of fantasy cars i've never seen not familiar with because i don't collect fantasy cars but there are some in here that i really want to do some customs out of um, I definitely want to use these type of vehicles, these space military type vehicles for some apocalyptic cars. Uh, this is a really sweet looking matchbox one right here. Yeah, there's a lot of things I'm going to be doing with uh, some of these cars. I am going to wheel swap the Lamborghini. I do want to make this apocalyptic roll cage car. Um, so many cool castings that, like I said, I've never seen before. Um, so thank you so much for sending me that. And Nas, thanks for hooking me up with some awesome freaking blue cards. The 98 first edition Escort Rally is sweet. But look at that color one more time, guys. Beautiful freaking orange right there. The white 10 spoke real riders just really top it off. I appreciate you, buddy. So um, this isn't a sticker, but I definitely want to put this up on here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting some 3M tape on. All right. So since it's not a sticker, I still want you to be up here with everybody else. So there we go. We got Nas. We got Nas up here with everyone else. I made you up there, buddy. Made you up there. So that is all I got, guys. Like I said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. Let me know which one of these loose castings was your favorite, which one of the blue cards was your favorite, and your thoughts of this beautiful powder coat on this 67. Appreciate you guys tuning in and staying to the end. If you did, I give you a huge props because I know these videos are a little long, especially when you have a lot of castings like that. But I try to edit it down to where it's not that long of a video. So until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.